everyone. This is my last swap for the for the month of October. This one was a Facebook swap. We had to do a sweets theme loaded envelope. And I already did my video. I showed you guys and everything. And now the girl I'm swapping with, this is hers that she sent to me. So I'm going to open this up now. We'll open it up together and I'll see, see what she sent. So we had to do a loaded envelope. We had to decorate the envelope. All in sweet steam. And we had to, uh, oh, we had to put 12 items in there. Oh, everything is falling. Everything is falling. Okay. So, let me open mine. She says, look how cute this is. First of all, I love that paper. I love that, that ice cream cone. The paper's all sprinkles. I love her handwriting. It's beautiful. She says, thank you so much for swapping with me. I love my loaded envelope. Your work is beautiful. Hope you enjoy the goodies I sent. I took the sweet theme as Valentine's. Hearts, pet and pastels, and thought of the coming spring. Enjoy. Love, Melissa. Of course, I don't care. I'm, I'm not picky. I like everything, so it doesn't matter. You all know that. Okay, so I'm going to take everything out, and I'm going to focus on the envelope first. So she decorated the envelope with this pretty die cut on the back, and there's a little locket up here. And then on this side, she's got this beautiful vellum with this luggage here and some rickrack around it with this pretty heart die going across and the rickrack all over here and this beautiful flower. One of the ladies, I don't know how she did it. She decorated her envelope. She had, it looked like whipped cream was on the whole thing with all sprinkles. It was so cute. That's a cute envelope. Okay, so I guess I'll do this first. First of all, she has this cute um, popsicle thing here with all these charms inside, and it's it's taped up. I'm not gonna, you know what? I'm not gonna open it because there's way too much. But I'll just show. Look at all these these Easter eggs. I have those. I never opened them. I was hoarding them. We have some hearts. We have this cute chick charm right here for spring. Oh, those are cute. We have huh, we have a little bunny holding a heart. Oh, I got one of those little pom-pom things. I have these too. I see a pig. Look, there's a pig right there. So cute. Some candies. This is really cute. What is that? Oh, look, a moon. Wow, that's awesome. I got two doilies here. This is sweet. Oh, one of my favorite colors, mint green. These are like bag toppers. These are bag toppers. So I'll put that aside. Let's see, what did I get here? Yeah, this is a bag topper too. And she's got, um, she made a little tassel here. And she's got these little beads hanging on it. Those are pretty. Oh, she made me a pen too. Ooh. Oh, how cute this is. First of all, it's an ombre pen. I've never, I've never seen ombre. I better get with the program because I haven't seen that. See, it's an ombre. And look at that. It's got a bunny. Oh my God. Look at those ears and a little dangle here. Oh, so cute. I'm going to put this with the rest of my pens that everybody gave me. It's getting full, guys. Actually, I'm going to take these ugly pens out that I stuck in here that don't belong. This doesn't belong in here. Just my cute beaded pens. Here, I've got to take these out. These are Dollar Tree pens. They don't belong there. All right. Ooh, what's this? This will be good for, like, to put something in. But what is this? I don't know. Let me open it up. Wow, I feel stupid. I don't know what this is. What is, is it a pencil? 
Is it a pencil? I'm an idiot. No, it's not a pencil. What is this? Why why don't I know what this is? It's like that's What in the world? I guess it's I guess it's kind of like a pokey tool, but I've never seen anything like that. I'm trying to write with it like an idiot. Does that look like lead to you? No. Oh, that's so different. So I got that. <laughs> okay. Wish I knew. But it must be like a pokey tool. I got these cute bows. Nice spring colors. Oh, she also had this other envelope. It says love. And she's got a bunch of tags in here. Oh, this is nice. So we have this one. Oh, this vellum one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice paper. These are pretty. Okay, those go in here. All right. There's a flower that, I don't know if it, if it came off something. No, it looks like it was just meant to be just like that. This cute little flower. That's really cute. I like that. <clears throat> Ooh. Unplug, favorite day, weekend, weekend fun. Very cute. She made me these beautiful um, ice cream cones. Those are beautiful. That's that side. And then here's this side. And she also put like this pink glittery mesh type of material, right? And see, just that little bit that dresses something up so much. I love the little... These are very tiny little iridescent um, gems with a nice sauce on the ice cream in there too. That's Those are really pretty. I have another little bag topper here. I have another bag topper. I think no, I think she made me a flag. And it says sweet with the lollipops and this gorgeous pink and white tool. I'm going to put that in with my tags. I got one from Enos from Paper Crafting with Enos. And I got my Dracula one from Jessica at Jessica's. Oh, I'm sorry, Jessica. It used to be Jessica Lila's. Crafts, but now it's Jessica's. Oh boy, I forgot. Jessica something. Jessica's really good too. She makes a lot of nice things. Here's another tag with some vellum. Look at that. She used it. She used one of the ones for a bag topper. Look at that. See, that's just so pretty. It adds something. So I have wax seals. So thank you very much for my wax seals. I gave my wax seals away. They were driving me crazy, and I couldn't stand that it took me 80 years to make one wax seal, and I wasn't about to have a bunch of warmers over here doing multiples at a time. That's too much room. And then I don't know if you guys all saw that video that I had the torch. I'll show you this bad boy. I had this torch, and I torched it because I was sick of waiting for these friggin' wax melts to melt. And they melted fast, but let me tell you, you still had all that plume of smoke coming up. I was like, nah, I'm all set. So I gave them all away. Guys, I don't have friggin' time for that. I have no patience for wax seals. I spent so much money on those wax seals. I bought tons of them. They were so pretty. No, gave them away. I just gave them away. And these are gorgeous, so thank you. I can use these. Misty also gave me some that I used. So thank you again, Misty. Here's another bag topper. I am all set from when I do another sweet theme. All these nice bag toppers she gave me. This cute thing. What is this? She made me a shaker. And I guess you can, I don't think it's, I don't know. Well, I'll find it. 
Hmm, I'm trying to figure out what I can do with it. I can dress something up with it. That's really cute. Like she made sure to double it up so that, you know, the shaker mix, you'd be able to see it. That's really cool. What else do we have? Now, this seems like she made another flag, like a wand. So she used this straw, and this is beautiful, this cluster. I am not that great at clusters, I have to say. And my bag toppers, they're just like a little thing with some tool. It's like I don't, I can't like layer and layer and layer. I have a hard time with that. But that's beautiful. I like these beads and everything. Beautiful. So I'll put that in with my flags too, right in here. I love that. Okay, what else do we have, guys? Oh. Oh, my God. She gave me this paper. You can tell you're getting old when you get excited about paper like this. I use this at work all the time. And I just ran out. Someone gave me a Santa one. I just ran out of that. And I was like, oh, I need more paper. So I was looking in my checkbook, and I had some from... Um, St. Jude, you know, when they send you the address labels and they, they give you like the little things of paper. I'm like, all right, I have two of these. Let me take these. I was like, I'm running out. I'm running out. And I was like, oh, and oh, now I have this beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to use this. Yay. Oh, she gave me beautiful bows here. I saw this die. I wasn't sure if I wanted it. I didn't pick it up, but that is pretty. Very pretty. Paper she used on the back was pretty too. And oh, this is cute. See, we all bought this stuff on uh, clearance. These bows, and this is what these are. Uh, you know, the acetate, and that's what the bows would look like if you make bows with them. I am all set. I'm all set for a while. So we have that. We have this, oh my God, this paper clip is so cute. Look at that. I am all set. And then we have, uh, I'm trying to see who it's by. It's a little lady. And this reminds me of the Julie Nutting stamps. And this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. But I probably will end up giving this away. Only because um, coloring in these kind of things is, um, I get aggravated. I get aggravated with that. So that's that would be cute for Happy Mail, I think. I think somebody would really enjoy that. I mean, I love it, but to use it, she gave me a KS Craft die too. So let's see what this is. Luckily, I don't have this. So this is a shaker. So you get that part, and then you get these. So that's a really nice die. And thankfully, I don't have it. But if I did, I could always give it away. That's not a big deal. So that was my Facebook swap for the Sweets Loaded Envelope. And I'm very happy with this swap. I will say, a couple of swaps in the past. Um... Uh, uh, they weren't great, and and here's the thing, right? Everyone crafts it. They are all. They are um. Everyone craft. Everyone has their own level of crafting. Okay, that's not the issue at all. The problem I have is the effort you put into it, right? So you can tell, like one of the ones I stopped doing these for a while actually because I was kind of pissed off because I was I was getting like crap, and it's not that the person didn't know what they were doing. You could tell they just like slap things together and put it in an envelope. You know what I mean? Like there was no effort into it. Like you can tell, like this die takes effort. You know what I mean? You got to put the things all together. You got to put the jemmies on it. Maybe you're not good at layering. Maybe you, you know, these little things, the layering parts, maybe that's hard for you. It doesn't come easy, you know, or like, where is it? Where's that one that I said is, I have problems with. Eh. Hey, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 
Well, anyway, like I'll make an example, right? Okay, there's nothing spectacular, right? They're bows. There's nothing added on them. You don't need that. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about judging everything up. I'm talking about, okay, she made a die cut and she made bows. That's effort. You know what I mean? This little thing, that's effort. Um, You know, I mean, you get the gist. You get the gist. You know what I mean? Even something as simple as this. It's effort. You took the die cut. You, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be this glamorous thing. I'm just saying effort. That's all I'm saying, effort. You can tell, you know, if somebody put the effort into something or if somebody just shipped you off something, you know? So, gee, I'm getting very... I'm being a stickler, huh? Lately, complaining and bitching and all this stuff. Ugh, nobody wants to see me like this. Well, guys, hopefully you will see a better me for the next video. Oh, I, I forgot of these. Look, here's another little simple thing. Just little tags. But she took the time to, like, put some glitter on it and a candy, you know? It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. No, it doesn't. That's beautiful. You know what I mean? Effort. Okay. I'm sorry. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Happy crafting. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye.